Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Data Engineer. So today we will cover interview questions asked in public sapient data engineer. Uh, more specific, uh, they are hiring for senior associate data engineer L2. Okay, so uh, in my cases, uh, they like they approached me through my LinkedIn profile. Okay, so recruiter called me. So called me based on my resume and uh, my skill set, what they are looking for. So in public recipients, uh, so how many rounds are there? So in public recipients, uh, there are total four rounds. First round was the screening round. Second was the coding test and third was the technical round and fourth was the techno managerial and you can say HR round. Okay, so in a screening round, uh, that is not much technical. Uh, like a recruiter only asked few of the question related to uh, that particular profile, what they are looking for. So in my cases, they are looking for senior associate data engineer L2. So they asked me a few questions related to Python, Spark, uh, then some um, orchestration engine. Uh, then some question related to how big data so after first screening round uh, they are sending a link for a coding test so uh, if uh, your profile got matched what they are basically looking for i uh, have worked on the same skill set earlier so uh, then they will send you a coding test so this coding test would be happen on quiz me so based on you can see your profile because i was uh, i was applying for uh, data engineer profile so they like uh, they sent me one coding test that was approximately for 50 minutes so there was a uh, one questions uh, related to data engineer in that uh, like uh, there was a uh, like the ask was that so i am not uh, exactly remember the question but uh, that was related to some timestamp and frequency where uh, we have to take the latest time and frequency we need to do some manipulations we need to add some uh, like we need to calculate some different things uh, where already so this input file was already there and uh, given function was already there you need to just write the uh, like uh, form code for uh, executing means like executing the task okay so this coding test was uh, so there was only one question related to data engineering then if you we'll, uh, if you submit this test after one or two days you will get the result for that particular test then there would be a technical round so technical round happen uh, between one hour to 1.5 hours so the technical round would be a bit uh, like if they are asking knowledge from basic to your project level and your high level also so in my case uh, this technical round went uh, up to 1.5 to 2 hours so firstly they cover the basic uh, topics related to python sql spark then they went on some cloud what basically they are looking for then they focused on particular projects so coming to technical now so they asked the questions on python like they are they asked me two questions on python first was that uh, find the uncommon word from two string so basically i was choosing for python uh, although i was proficient in scala but they asked me to write in python so i have written that so they asked uh, to like uh, they have two string in that string you need to find the two common string okay so they wanted the minimum uh, you can say time complexity and space complexity for that uh, then second question was that remove uh, punctuation from a string so this is the basic question basically this is not uh, like uh, up to that level uh, so remove punctuation from a string so they will give a string in that you need to remove the punctuations so for that you can write a regular expression and all but first question you'll write the split function or you write the loop and then you can find out so there are multiple ways to solve these questions then they come to questions uh, on sql so they are asking uh, knowledge about sql they ask some basic questions uh, related to er diagram and uh, then uh, they they ask me to write a window function uh, so uh, so group by they ask me to write uh, like department wise second highest third salary like that they asked me the questions then they are given me a cobalt table expression right to common table expression then they ask question related to some join operation join join operation 
okay so then uh, join uh, question related to join then they ask me some constant related questions also okay then uh, they come to a spark so a spark they are much focusing on like intermediate level concept what is explode function how we are writing this, uh, so write a code snippet for that uh, what is catch a what is persist how we are using how we are optimizing based on catch and persist why we are storing the intermediate result what is the use of catch and persist then uh, third question they asked me related to udf user defined functions why we are using udf uh, so they given me a certain task and they asked me to write the udf for that then again they come to question related to spark submit uh, how we are submitting the spark in uh, linux uh, they are asking basically the command related to that and what are the parameter we are passing like executor memory or some different different parameter what is the i can say resource manager how we are um, doing that how you are writing and submitting the uh, through you can say uh, spark console so they are asking question related to that then they come uh, what is client mode cluster mode how they are using what is the use of that okay then uh, last question they asked me if uh, you are facing any problem related to a spark uh, job if there is a latency so then what are the way you can uh, optimize your spark job then uh, again then we explained and then they are agree with that so then they come to they basically looking for uh, gcp and aws so because i worked on aws and gcp both so they are asking question related to aws blue athena red shift what is the use of uh, that uh, like how in wh what cases uh, which component we have to prefer uh, how we are setting the iam role uh, how we are triggering the lambda function in gcp they mostly asked the question related to bigquery and uh, data flow uh, bigquery they given me a query how how like uh, we are writing the query in big uh, bigquery bigquery is basically a data warehouse uh, data warehouse services in gcp so they ask question related to that then they come deeper to uh, design a dimension table also what are the snow schema star schema they, these are the theoretical question they asked uh, okay and then certain question they asked in the real time also like how we are designing the uh, pipeline some question related real time they asked also like how we are handling this much of file if uh, they have some certain scenarios okay so uh, just uh, uh, apart from this basic sql python and spark you have to be proficient in any of the cloud also because most of the company asking for cloud so just be uh, like be be good with any one of the cloud either aws gcp or azure or if you are applying specific to any particular cloud then be good in that before attending the interview and one of the most uh, important questions they are asking related project related questions so uh, then uh, they asked me to like in what uh, so what are the domain you have worked basically i work for retail domain uh, for client called walmart coca cola and uh, some supply chain domain clients also uh, then banking clients finance clients then uh, this client related to uh, healthcare also i worked so they, they ask question related to that some scenarios and uh, so if you have to explain uh, your project in very good way first you need to explain like what are your role how how you have uh, developed the end to end pipelines what are the challenges you faced okay so these are the questions so after completing your uh, take round uh, if uh, this your uh, your feedback is positive you will get call uh, after two to three days two day, three days uh, for uh, managerial round so managerial round is not that much of uh, i can say technical but uh, they also ask question related to day to day activity they'll ask uh, what are the use cases you have handled for which client you have worked what so basically they wanted to know what are your role responsibilities are you a team uh, you can say handling the team or you are a, you can say a standalone developer in your project or you have any dependency or not uh, how if you will face some problem how will handle and if they are hiring specific to any project they will ask uh, related to projects also uh, so after clearing manager rounds if we are okay then uh, then again there would be a manager round uh, then there would be a 
you can say hrm and uh, so you are good to go with the offers okay so these are the questions basically they ask so mainly they focused on basic so what i feel if you are attending any data engineering interview so definitely they'll ask question related to programming sql spark or hadoop or any one of the cloud and related to projects so these are the things if you will uh, if you will handle all these uh, you can say cases like basic uh, any coding uh, coding round sql round then uh, either spark or hadoop if you, where you have worked in uh, hadoop also they are asking like hive hadoop related questions like hbs uh, in a spark they are asking in spark batch processing string processing there are lot many optimizations uh, questions they have so if you are good in that then they will ask question related to spa see the question related to project and uh, then uh, if you are good with that then you will clear any interview uh, related to this data engineering field so in next video we will discuss detailed about these topics also like what are catch a process test load udf what is spark summit what, how we are doing spark optimizations we can see some live examples also we will do some hands on on that questions also thank you thanks for watching